Hey guys, this is Matt from Epic Soccer Training. I kind of want to take you through uh, some soccer tips now, how you can improve your individual skill. Uh, like I say in a bunch of videos, and I'm sure you'll hear, is soccer practice a lot of times doesn't teach you the individual skills that you need uh, to make not only yourself better, but also the teammates around you better. Um, so that's something I kind of that I kind of figured out, and it's really what took me from you know being at this level to being to being way up here. So anytime somebody asks me how I did that, it's basically because of individual soccer skill. So one of the first soccer tips I want to teach you, uh, it's basically just learning that you need the fundamentals. Um, and again, you're going to get a lot of that in some of the other videos as well, which you can check out. But it's a lot of uh, touches on the ball. You know, when you're in soccer practice and you're just kind of standing in line, that's really doing nothing but waste your time. So again, you always want to have a ball at your feet. You always kind of want to be moving around. Again, the best thing you can do is even when you're warming up, you want to just be able to dribble down the field and work on your moves as you're going down the field warming up. Again, you don't want to do them like super explosive without stretching first, but you want to work on that. Um, once you have the proper fundamentals down, which you know I'll teach you in some other videos as well, just the basic approach, um, it's going to be a lot to do with ball control. And again, ball control is just uh, simply that. It's, it's just being able to have kind of a... I guess have, have a sticky foot as they call it um, where you're just always kind of moving around and the ball's, the ball's never really but like you know a couple feet from you you don't want to take a touch and then it's like way out here and then you're trying to regain control because when you see Messi who's basically the best player in, in the world right now the ball basically is, is glue on his foot you know he's moving around and he's doing all these fakes you know and it's going it's going just right where he wants it to go and so to have good ball control is one of the ways to do that and again one of the ways that you can kind of work on your ball control is not only just side to side stuff and shielding as I'll show you in some videos um, juggling is a great way too uh, to be able to work on some stuff uh, so again work on that one of the other things that will really take you to the next level is actually is your first touch and a lot of people don't realize this um, so again, when, when people are starting out, you want to really focus on your first touch. It really is a lot. It's pretty mental. Um, so again, if Chaz played me a ball, a lot of people take the ball and then they just kind of let it kind of go and fly off of their foot and they're not really paying attention to where they want the ball to go. Again, if I have a defender who's over here and uh, you know, I get a ball played and I want to go over here, you know, shield him and then you know you want to keep it pretty, pretty close to you as well. So your first touch is, is pretty crucial. Again, you want to kind of just be able to go wherever wherever you want. So uh, you know, really focus on where do I need to go when you have the ball. When it's played to me, you know, always when the ball's not at you, you should be what they call surveying the field. You should be looking to where you want to go. So if you get a ball and you want to immediately go out here, you know, you need to know where your, where your player's at. So you know, you're playing it out here, and you know you have a player coming onto it. So you want to have your first touch be good because uh, that was one of the first things that really took me to the next level when my coach sat me down and said, hey, you really need to work on your first touch. If you want to have playing time, you need to get that down pat so you know where to go with the ball because it slows down the play and you don't want to have that happen. You want all your teammates to have great individual skill and that comes with your first touch and then, you know, as you get into that, it's anticipating where every, everybody's going to be and that gets into more team play um, as opposed to individual skill. and. So, like I said, it's, it's a lot to do with, uh, you know, being mental with soccer. A lot of people don't realize that. It's what I call your soccer IQ, which I actually want to explain to you in the video below. If you kind of click on that right now, I'm going to kind of show you and explain what that is. And I guess more of the tactical side of things, you know, when you get to a certain level, their coaches want you to break game film down and kind of learn how to play like that. And, and, and kind of see other teams' weaknesses and how you can exploit it and how certain players play and their flow. And so your soccer IQ is very important for that. It's something that isn't really taught a whole lot. So I want to kind of teach you what that is. So again, click on the link below, check that out. Um, also leave some comments. Let me know if you have any tips or suggestions or what you want. I'll come by and answer them personally. So um, also click the subscribe button above and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.